What do you think are the main traits that businesses look for? Many people will answer education, background, appearance. What many people don't realize is that one of the most sought after traits in business right now is actually creativity. My name is Gavin Tate and I've researched multiple studies on workplace traits. Through this research, I've learned about a, a few highly important and popular traits. Before we get started, let's try an exercise. So the point of this exercise is to use this circle to make any kind of scene you want. You can make smaller circles, larger circles, put them together, make anything you want. And for the sake of time, we'll just use this top one. So here's some of your more creative responses. And here's some of your more common responses. This is actually called a Torrance test and is one of the most highly used tests by businesses today to recruit new employees. See, a lot of people value education, but a huge factor in business is the usefulness of unique ideas. And the problem is that many people think alike because many people are taught alike. However, businesses favor a creative mind. Here we see how far creativity has come in the past five years, going from number 10 all the way up to number three. In fact, businesses employ based on the responses to the creativity test, just like the one we took. But to start, creativity is defined under two aspects, originality and usefulness. Teresa Amabile, writer for the Journal of Creative Behavior, describes it as a skill that might be taught, learned, practiced, and improved. However, in this instance, it can be easily defined as the ability to solve problems, which enable you to look at any situation from a different point of view. Now, since we know the idea of creativity, let's dive into the causes and effects and what successful people do to become more creative. The workplace can seem like a strict and controlled place, but good habits start when businesses give free range and comfortability for their workers to explore their imagination. Here we see how often a study on how often you are allotted time to think creatively or discuss new ideas at work. Regina Schlee, a writer for the Journal of Education for Business, describes the workplace as a safe place and that it should use the provision of freedom and resources to engage in creative problem solving. You see, even some of the most important people value imagination above all else. Albert Einstein has been quoted saying, imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world. And even learning as early as adolescent childhood can have major effects on the ability for a person to work creatively. Stites Thomas, Nobel winner, states how he is often reminded how vitally important good mentorship is in the early stages of one's career and how constant face-to-face -face conversations, debate, and discussions with colleagues led to his own creativity. But learning about creativity cannot be effective unless we acknowledge the things that hurt it. Going back to the learning environments, kids should be in a stigmatizing learning environment that supports creativity, creative, creativity to their fullest potential. The Australian Journal of Early Childhood writes that educational environments should be rich in stimuli providing opportunity for exploration and testing. Next, a phone. A phone can have effects on the mind that decreases imaginary capacity. While using a phone, you are required to have small imaginative range since all senses are satisfied by the flashing images, ease of access, and the many other things requiring little or no thought to operate. The third factor is a lack of reading. Reading has been thoroughly studied and has been proven that allowing the brain to imagine worlds on its own without images, scenes, or faces can boost your creativity. All of these habits put together are what make up successful people and lead to breakthrough achievements in their field. To conclude, creativity in the workplace and personal life can be owed to environment, social relationships, and just being open to conversation. Understanding how creativity works helps with relationship skills and productivity. It has been linked to some of the most successful people and is seen to be a growing requirement of any industry of any business. Here again, we can see how far creativity has come, being one of the most important leadership qualities over the next five years. And since creativity is such a fast growing trait, Noting the origins of it and observing the ways in which successful people use this ability in education, business, and personal life can be important in teaching the next generation. Thank you.